What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash itresolves or clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome to day, or I guess video two with this Song of Creation Phoenix list. Uh, really, really loving this list. It is very, very fun. Uh, however, we've not had much luck with it quite yet. Uh, we're going to give it another shot, and this is definitely a list that I think we will be revisiting in the near future. This is a really, really sweet deck. I've already got a few ideas as to what I think I would like to do in place of some of the cards that we've already got. So uh, we will certainly be trying this out. I'm happily going to keep this. Uh, this is a pretty decent starting hand. We'll, we'll lead on the temple. And we'll keep that stomping ground on top uh, just to make sure that we've got our fourth land drop. So uh, this is a very fun list, though. It's got a lot of really interesting things that can happen uh, that don't always happen, but that's OK. Uh, Song of Creation is a very powerful build around card. So if you did not see uh, the first episode with this, I highly suggest that you go check that out uh, just so you can see exactly why we did what we did and how we built it and that kind of thing. Uh, I do have a few, like I said, ideas for uh, switching it up in the near future, so kind of excited to see what we can do there. Here, I am going to do this, play this out, and then I'm going to shock that. <clears throat> uh, and yeah, we're going to swing for three. Uh, looks like we're up against Teamer Adventures, uh, which is definitely a pretty potent list, so... We'll see how we do, if, or how we fare, I should say, against it. Now, what I will say is this deck can very easily kind of win out of nowhere uh, if we if we play it the right way. So there is a possibility that um, we get to do some very, very busted things uh, very soon with this list. So uh, I'm going to play that out. I'm going to do this. Oh, should have attacked first, actually. Cancel. Can I cancel? Yeah, okay. Let's attack first here. Now, let's do this. Okay. Play our land. Let's go ahead and do this. I'll discard the temple here. Cool. Well, you can see the potency. Uh, I mean, that was a pretty solid turn four. Uh, and here they could very well, I guess they can't bone crusher giant. They um, do not have the mana up for it. So uh, first things first, we should always swing in. Actually, I should have played this first, I suppose. That would have made a lot more sense. Okay. So in that case, it probably wouldn't have mattered much anyway. They've bounced the Song of Creation, that's fine. Very well done on the opponent's end. Mm hmm. Oops, backwards order, but that's okay. Should have been able to get that up to 2-2, two -two. Uh, the Runaway Steamkin, that was 100% a misplay. That is okay. We are learning. Wow, okay. Storm's Wrath. Sure. I'm actually kind of okay with that. I mean, it, it sucks, but it's not like the worst thing in the world. Um. The cool thing about this deck is because we have the phoenixes, it's like, eh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, counter target creature spell, okay. Uh, so. Hmm. <laughs> 
kind of tempted to just do this, swing him for five, let them wrath, and then next turn be able to do quite a bit of stuff. But not 100% sure on that. Let's try it. So here we, we have the built-in, you know, not protection by any means, but we, we have the built-in not worried about wrath effect. Uh, they do have negate in hand, so we do have to be very, very cognizant of that. Um, I'm a little curious as to what they end up doing. If they've got another untapped land, we definitely have to be careful. If they don't, we're definitely going for the Song of Creation. Okay, it looks like they don't. Yay for us. Certainly wish we had a non-creature spell there. I'm going to keep shock on top. And here we just kind of hope they don't have another borrower uh, to bounce it. Um, though I think they... Well, they did have the wrath, so maybe there was a turn though in there where they, they should have probably done that if they had it. Uh, but we'll see. Keeping shock on top because it's a cheap way to do two damage, draw two cards, and you know hopefully continue the cycle here. Also a way to deal with that if we need to. I'm not sure if we should actually just go for them or go for the. I'm gonna leave up their two mana. That makes sense. Let's bait with this a little bit first. If they want to counter this, that's fine. But this is the card they know about, so I wanted them to uh, to see that first. Let's shock the borrower. Phoenix, you say. I don't actually think we play the Phoenix, though. My assumption is they counter this. Yep. Beautiful Essence Scatter, by the way. I absolutely love the new art. Uh, and it's tapped. So now we have the Phoenix of Ash in the Graveyard to not only trigger Song of Creation, but uh, hopefully continue the beat down a little bit. Okay, they do have the Essence Scatter, so that's going to stop that a little bit. Oh, and they've got Return to Nature. Okay, well, that's going to do some damage. <laughs> I guess they have to pick one though, don't they? Yeah, they do. Okay. So I can pump this one, two, three. I can pump this twice. And yes, I know they can gain control of the Phoenix. That's fine. They can gain control of both of them for all I care. Um, We'll see what they do, but um, this is an interesting, interesting game. This is a fun matchup. Um, I I don't feel like we're in a commanding position because they've got all the cards. Um, yes, we only need to deal three damage, but three damage is a lot when 
they can steal your creatures, you know, block your creatures, do whatever they need to do. So, and they've got plenty of options for that. So, um, here though, they do only have the one mana, two mana, excuse me. Uh, neither which is blue, which is a very crucial step here. Hey, we got it. All right. Awesome. So we did finally get a win with this deck. Uh, that was a very hard, hard fought win. Uh, not met with any, uh, or, or I should say it did have quite a few misplays, but that's okay. Uh, you live and you learn. So let's move to game two. Absolutely love the feeling of this deck though. It's so fun. Uh, if you watched the first video, you really got to see us kind of go off with this deck. When you've got the right setup, when you've got the right cards in play, you can really, really go over the top with this list, and it's it's very, very fun to do so. Uh, unfortunately, not always the case, but that's okay. Here, very easy. Turn one, discard this. Turn two, run away, Steamkin. Um, we will see uh, what we are up against, though. Certainly, that's going to be an interesting... Oh, they mulliganed. Okay. Cauldron Familiar. I don't know what our matchup is like with this. Um, yeah, we'll see. Certainly looking to get as many lands right now as possible, and then of course the Song of Creation itself, so. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. Cool deck. Um, I think that's the right play. Uh, it leaves us a blocker. It leaves them without being able to uh, use the, the priest there and then draw cards off of this. So we will see, we will see, we will see. Um, next turn we can very easily Phoenix of Ash just to start like dealing some damage, but it, it certainly depends on what we draw here. Another electrostatic field. Maybe it's best to no, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go for the Phoenix here. Let's go ahead and get the attacks going. Um, I think we need to get the damage rain train going before they really get the, not only the cat combo going, but also just more creatures on the field. Um, Midnight Reaper's a good one for them for sure. We really need to find a way to deal with this. That's a problem. Unfortunately, we don't currently have one. This deck is very cool, this mono black uh, kind of sacrifice deck. Very, very good. Uh, okay, let's attack in. Fortunately, this game, I don't even think we're going to be able to see the Song of Creation come down. Um, and that's okay, we'll, we will make do. Now they do have the copycat combo. I say the copycat, the cauldron familiar combo. Copycat combo is Feldar Guardian. Um, and here I think they just win, right? Are they one point away or do they just win? I didn't leave food to bring the cauldron familiars back, which is interesting. <laughs> they were focused more on the card draw, which I guess makes sense. They only need a few creatures to really like get us down to to a manageable life total. Yeah. 
Well, that's certainly good. <laughs> A little bit too late there. Uh... I'm going to make him play it, but uh, we definitely lost. I don't think there's a way we can pull out the win here. Um, unfortunately, they were much, much quicker. <clears throat> we did stop the attacks pretty well at some point, but they uh, they just have so many things. Uh, that it's quite near impossible for us to win at this point. <clears throat> Yep, there we go. All right, well, well done on the opponent's end. That was a very, very good showing for Mono Black. Uh, we will give this one more game. And then um, I do think uh, at some point in the near future, I'm going to be changing up this deck. I've already uh, got a few things in mind that I think are going to help this deck kind of function a little bit better. Uh, for instance, the Phoenix of Ash is a very, very good card to have because it, no matter what, is going to be able to trigger some stuff. But... Uh, it certainly has its drawbacks, and that's an expensive escape cost. I think what we could better be doing is get some things in there that don't have quite so much uh, cost to them, uh, in which case we we get a little bit of a better uh, return rate, I will say, for, for each uh, creature, or for each play. Looks like we're dropping a little bit of frames here. I apologize, guys. Go ahead and shock this here. Uh, normally, I like to shock the Scorch Spitter. Uh, just because it's going to be dealing more damage long term. Wow. Okay. I think it's a network issue, by the way, that we've been dropping frames lately. We've had a lot of issues uh, going on with that, and it's been taking up a lot of, a lot of concern for us. So, did it really auto tap that? That is awful. Why? Why would it auto tap that? <laughs> We could have shocked something here and saved ourselves some damage. That's really kind of crappy. Need to be very careful of the auto tapper, guys. Um, and unfortunately, they've got shock here. They're just going to deal it straight. That makes sense. Uh, yeah. I say be careful of the auto tapper, and then I literally just didn't pay any attention to the auto tapper. Uh, let's do this. Let's get rid of this. <clears throat> I don't think we even last this turn, right? Well, we lasted the turn. That's something. Um, at this point, we are not on this plan, so I'm discarding. But yeah, okay, we just lose. Man, unfortunately not a great showing, but that's okay. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this deck list. Uh, it is a very fun one. I highly suggest kind of brewing around this list. Uh, there's a lot of different ones going around, so please do check out all of the options and see what list best, best works for you. Uh, if you do come up with a list, please share it. As always, we really do appreciate uh, if anybody shares a list that we can play on, uh, on camera, we'd love to. Uh, if you've not checked out our JDC, uh, our jank deck competition between Will and I, please do check that out as well. We released that just this past week. Uh, and stay tuned. We've got plenty more gameplay coming for uh, for you guys from Ikoria. Very, very excited about this new set. It is an awesome one. So thank you guys so much for all the support and thanks for watching. I will see you in the next gameplay video.